right, just made it to Montana. I'm trying to say it's about 3.30. We got here about 12.30, 1 o'clock. Got camp set up for the most part. Probably got a few more little kinks to work out. You can see it's a little breezy. It's one reason we set the tents up down here kind of in this draw. Expecting 65 mile an hour wind gust tomorrow night. So uh, this might get interesting, but we can go see if we can get on a deer this evening. so day three and i have to apologize i've done a very poor job of filming keep forgetting the gopro we have filmed a little with the uh cell phone camera but um give you an update we now got three tents in camp there's i guess seven of us we've already got two tags punched turned in a lot colder overnight had terrible wind yesterday really didn't think we were going to do much and then late yesterday afternoon it all started to happen but Breakfast time. Got sausage and griddle cakes. Coffee. The bourbon, not for breakfast. So. <laughs> it would warm us up. <coughs> A good bit colder today, but yeah, we went out. <coughs> Damn, smoky in here. Mm -hmm. We went out early this morning. Came back in for kind of a brunch, I guess. Gonna get our bellies full and then get back out and sit all afternoon and see what happens. So that was a good little breakfast, a little clean up. Um, like, like I said, we got two deer down yesterday afternoon. Um, got them just gutted. Mine's right up here, we'll go. I think we're gonna go ahead and get it quartered up because just kind of this time of morning, we figure it's a couple hours before we really want to get back out and hunt for this afternoon. So you get, we'll get you to take a look at him. Yeah, I apologize, I just, I didn't have the GoPro. There really wasn't a good filming opportunity. Um, like a lot of times it happened really fast and our priority was getting a good shot on the deer getting him down not so much getting it filmed filming will be the bonus but this afternoon i'm gonna be with lee my sole job will be well i guess helping spot deer and then trying to get it on camera so we'll see if maybe we can get a kill kill actually on camera but uh yeah we're gonna go get that one quartered up now that we got our bellies full so here's the buck we got last night a um, little three by three. Certainly not my biggest mule deer. In fact, be my smallest mule deer. But uh, he he gave us a good shot opportunity. We were able to make it happen. Um, hunting in teams of two. We'd already decided I was going to shoot first, and um, so yeah, just a little bit of pressure to go ahead and get one down. That way we can now focus on getting Lee one because. Yeah, there's actually seven of us total here in camp and yeah when you're the first man to shoot in your group um go and get one down and then we can focus on finishing punching tags but um yeah i guess those are my excuses for why i shot maybe a little smaller deer than what i would have liked um public land you know kind of doing it ourselves kind of roughing it out here but beautiful country it's turning off cooler every day but um just uh you know really enjoying it beautiful day today feel like I mean, the winds have been so terrible that was our biggest problem yesterday and kind of why we were surprised when we were able to get a couple down just we didn't think they would move but this afternoon just this weather like it is we ought to be they're not quite yet rutting based on what we've seen but um in fact my deer had another buck with him so um hadn't seen them bumping the does just yet but i don't know every day we're getting a little closer to that feel like probably by the end of this next week they should really be chasing all right it's our evening hunt first time i've actually remembered the gopro when we're hunting get a little slightly later start than we wanted ran into a couple of little hiccups but we're in here now got about an hour and a half of daylight we're gonna make it happen.
haven't spotted one. Probably a shooter. We've had to hoof it up and down some rough ass train to get here. Catching our breath, gonna pop his roof to see if he's out there. Shit. What do you think, man? It's encouraging, you know, the biggest buck of the of the trip and Put a stalk on him about 350 yards and he saw us before we saw him and ran out, it. ran out of daylight was really our problem oh if we had more daylight we could have done it more you know we could have really and, but uh, if we had had more daylight he wouldn't have been out there that's true he just, there's a reason them big ones don't come out till right before dark that is true all right let's cook something to eat. back to camp all right what's this morning for morning day four day four it's cold I would say it's windy, but that just goes without being set out here. I never see if anybody's home. Yeah. Seems like a good idea. Yeah. I think something lives in there. I dare say it's a coyote or a badger or something. Something does. Yeah. Yeah, cozy. Yeah. It'd be a good place to be on a day like this. It's kind of starting to spit snow. Jumped a little buck just a few minutes ago. Had zero chance to get the camera out. It was he was there and gone. Just wasn't quite probably what what we're looking for. But it's the first and only deer we've seen today. Maybe Rough country. Maybe the other side was better. We must have gone over and down the other day. Very glad to see camp. Just a brutal morning. Even better we can see coming out of our chimney we got smoke so our stove is still going it's gonna be warm. But uh, we're gonna get some coffee going and we'll make some breakfast. What time is it? 9 a.m. We had said we were going to be back here at 10 for breakfast. Just decided the wind was, was too much. Uh, get in there and get something to eat. What you cooking for us? We're going to do sausage, bacon, biscuits, and what eggs. Got the Scrambles. coffee up there. The coffee. This is the setup. It definitely looks like four dudes have been living here for, yeah. Uh, four days or so I'll tell you what that thing right there I don't know what it cost but it's worth triple whatever you paid for it <laughs> we would have frozen to death without that thing <laughs> powder river is a little icy tumbleweed <laughs> Yellowstone River, they named it after that TV show. Sure did. Bunch of waterfowl out there on the river. Some geese, maybe. I don't guess you can use that bridge anymore. Little load of hay there. I think it's 17, so 17 times three, what, 51? I figured they had more than that. All right, what you thinking? Pretty much gonna try slightly alter plan of what we did yesterday. This is the last afternoon to hunt. I think we've decided we're gonna leave midday tomorrow, so we're still having the morning, but this will be our last evening to hunt. So see if we can seal the deal. There's the truck right down there. Well, 
All right, as you can probably tell, we are breaking camp, day five. Day five. Wasn't, wasn't quite what we wanted, but thanks to me and old Steve-O, not going home without any meat. Without <laughs> meat. Uh, I don't know, kind of before the trip, I said, if we got three deer, that'd be success. Two well, one, out of three ain't too bad. Yeah, two out, yeah, we, we didn't, we came up one short, but day five, I think mentally and physically, we've all kind of about had it, so. Sad thing is, it's actually calm this morning yeah, and cold probably and, and probably a, a good morning to have hunted, but I think the guys that still had a tag had all decided it was about, they had about had their limit. So, but be a wrap for Mule Deer Camp 2022. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all remember to eat beef and God bless.